everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of the Let's Play series. I do hope you guys are having a fantastic day. We are back here for the 76th episode, guys. And the last episode, of course, was a little world tour. Go ahead and check it out if you haven't already. If you want to get the lowdown and a bit of a catch-up on what we have been doing on this world. Guys, thank you so much for all of the support, though. I really do appreciate it. If we can continue hitting 3,000 likes per episode, that would be absolutely fantastic. Now, today, my friends, we are going to go ahead and work back at Blackstone Manor. That is right, my friends. We are going to go ahead and get a couple things done in today's episode at the very least. Uh, the first of which being, uh, we're going to try replacing the snow blocks on the walls with quartz bricks, which is why, as you can see, I am buying a whole bunch of blocks of quartz because, you know, we can. It's awesome. I love this. I love the fact we've got Mason Avenue right here. Oh, dang. Dudes, we can get so much of this. It's actually kind of bonkers. Look at that. We have so much quartz. I also, for whatever reason or another, uh, decided to buy myself a whole bunch of bottles of enchanting. So, a slightly more fun project I think we could potentially do at some point is like an XP shower. Like, I think that'd be pretty freaking sweet, right? A little bit of an XP shower. I mean, for those of you guys unaware, I can literally buy bottles of enchanting for one emerald. And we can get 12 per time before the trade, uh, you know, goes away. So we can get ourselves just over a full stack of enchant bottles, you know, from one load of trading, which is pretty freaking sweet, guys. I'm looking forward to that. I mean, you know, I think a little fun project every now and again is always something that's a welcome sight. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, though. So, like I say, we are going to go ahead and replace the snow blocks on the uh, on the manor walls. We're going to try replacing those with quartz bricks as a suggestion uh, from one of you guys. Uh, yeah, that was sent in, and I, I'm yet to get around to it. So, we're going to do that right now. And also, I want to try and implement some sort of uh, nether portal, but underneath the lava that is outside the front of the build, okay? We're going to have the lava suspended up by signs, and then underneath, we're going to have ourselves like a bit of a crypt, right? That'll be pretty cool. All right, so yeah, this is the idea. We go ahead and put ourselves a bunch of signs down here, and if we want to get down below, we either have to take a bunch of damage, or we could chuck an enderpearl down there. We get down to the area where the portal is going to be, and it is going to be great. The third thing I wanted to do is, again, a suggestion from you guys. We go ahead and actually lower all of this polished and the site down by a few blocks so this seems like a bit more of a bridge kind of dealio I thought that was a really really cool idea from you guys so I appreciate all of the suggestions as always since the last episode I got myself another shulker box full of blackstone here so you know I've got a lot of stuff going on guys we really really do so I need to go and start putting some stuff away and yeah let's check this out do we get okay so we get four per time that's great. I don't think there's going to be any bonuses from doing this. Uh, no, there isn't. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter. We could just do this, and boom. We've got ourselves quartz bricks. Now, I'll be honest, I've never actually used quartz bricks before. Let's have a look at the texture. It's pretty interesting, isn't it? So, you've got, like, large bricks on the top, and then you've got these smaller bricks on the bottom. And, yeah, it seems like we can insta-mine it as well, which is great. Oh, goodness me. I was trying to get around the back here. So we could actually make a bit of a start on this thing. So I tell you what, let's get the uh, let's get the quartz bricks on our offhand here, and let's start placing these things in. Okay, so I'm immediately noticing it's not as white as the snow blocks, but I don't know, man. If we're going for the whole, you know, we're having just nether related blocks here, then I guess this would work pretty well, right? So let's go up another block or so. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to bring this around town. And then, of course, just build this up. Here we go. All right. And then I guess we have a look at it from afar. So let's just take to the skies real quick. Let's have a little bit of a look at it. Uh, actually, right, when you're looking at it from afar, there isn't really much of a shade difference, is there? I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a slightly less bright version of the white. But you know what? It actually works really well, doesn't it? Alrighty guys, and with all of the snow blocks replaced, this is what it's looking like. We are using the brand new quartz bricks, and honestly, it looks great. I really appreciate the suggestion, folks. I mean, honestly, I've been really appreciating all of your guys' suggestions uh, regarding Blackstone Manor here. Like, honestly, I really appreciate it, guys. It gives me a good amount of motivation, uh, you know, to make a whole bunch of progress with this stuff. And uh, I feel like a lot of you guys know what you're talking about, so, you know, that's awesome, dudes. Okay. Okay. 
So, we're looking pretty good, right? So, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and suspend this lava. Well, more to the point, we need to take down the coordinates, I guess. So, negative 11 and then 769 to 767. Yeah, I think. Uh-huh. And then, yeah, we need to also take down the, uh, the altitude as well, which is 79 there. Uh-huh. I guess now is as good a time as any to start, uh, you know, lighting the underside of this up, right? <laughs> there usually winds up being an inadvertent freaking mob farm underneath, so I'm just like, you know what? I think, I think we're done here. I think we're done. We're gonna light this sucker up. We're not gonna die underneath here in our own manner. That would be very, very embarrassing. Right, okay, uh, so, yeah, I got a whole bunch of this stuff lit up, which is great. Oh, there's a zomble. There's a zomble boy. Get out of it. You dare survive the first swing? Uh, but yeah, what was it? Seven, six, nine, seven, six, seven? Oh, man, uh, it's going to be a little bit of a tight squeeze, I say. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to need to go down, I think, three blocks. Okay. Uh, then we go over here. It's negative 11, isn't it? So this would be the center. Oh, mama, I'm kind of nervous right now. Okay, just got to be careful. Just got to be careful. So there's 769. So what that should mean is, boop. Yep, there we go. Boop. Do that. Do that. Okay, okay, decent. Oh, there we go. And get the rest in. Oh, oh my goodness. It's always super nerve-wracking having a whole bunch of lava suspended above you. Like, is it? Is it just me? Is it just me? I feel like a secret nether portal would do pretty well. And then maybe it is, like, completely, uh, you know, completely apart from the mansion. So you only can uh, end up to get down here. You can't just go down into the basement and come here, right? I don't know. <laughs> well, what? Hello? Hello? I hear you. I hear you, Mr. Traveling Merchant. Oh, goodness me. Yep, I can hear him loud and clear. Where exactly he is? I've got no idea. If you fall through the lava, then you are the biggest dingleberry I've ever seen in my entire life. And you deserve to die, frankly. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Okay, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, I want to go ahead and sort of uh, block this back off. Uh-huh. Do a little bit of that. And then, yeah, I'm going to fly myself out of here. Yes, I'm going to take damage, but uh, everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm just slightly on fire. Everything's okay. See? All right, you're basically selling nothing. You are useless. 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 No one likes you. You suck. Oh, goodness me. I forgot those guys would, like, spit at you. Um, can I tame these guys? I want to tame him. Please. What? Hey. No. You get tamed, sir. Oh, there you go. You're okay now. What about you, buddy? Wait, are you the... No, you're, you're the one I didn't tame. Yeah, you got 13 hearts? Holy crap. Hey! I thought we were chill, dude! Dude! You're freaking tamed! Why are you still trying to hit me, dude? Oh my god. These guys. Freaking uncontrollable, dude. What is up with these guys? Alrighty! Well, we're gonna go ahead and die these guys. Wait, they're, they're like full-on following me. What the... What? Okay, I mean, yeah, you do you. All right, we'll have ourselves a yellow one. Let's grab this flower real quick, and then maybe we can have ourselves another colored one or something. I don't know. All right, do that. Oh, wait, 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 we need two of them because we need to make carpets, right? So do this, do this, make the carpet. Okay, now we need another color. He's still trying to chase me. What is wrong with you? Oh, wait. Oh, you're chill now. Okay. Cool! How many slots do you have? Nine? God, man, that's really awful. Alright, can I put a carpet on you? Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, that's so adorable, dude. Oh my goodness. Is that the first time I've ever actually, uh, you know, tamed a llama? I mean, if so, that's pretty freaking epic, right? You know, it was the first time for everything, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is cool, dude! <laughs> oh. So, question... Where the devil did the other llama go? Llama, llama, llama! Where did you go? Seriously, I've got no idea where he went. Last I saw, he was like over here trying to spit at me. Oh god, if he went in the lava, then he's just stupid, dude. Ah, oh. well, that's the uh, that's the issue with uh, using lava decoratively, I guess. Oh goodness me! So, uh, guys, you know how we keep flying over to a lava pool way over there? Well, uh, I just came to the realization there's a bunch of stone here, and that usually signifies there's a lava pool. So, the lava pool even closer to Blackstone Manor, and I've been flying all the way over there. 
Ugh, goodness me. I could have saved so much time. Alrighty, guys. Well, once again, we're slightly on fire. But do you know what? In the grand scheme of things, I think we're doing okay. I mean, you know, fire is warm and we're not going to get cold, I guess. <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to justify fire being a good thing. Ah, never mind. All right, well, here's what we're going to do, guys. So, yeah, we've got the little, uh, you know, the, the entrance bit there. We're going to go down a few more blocks here and maybe sort of expand this room a bunch. Maybe we go sort of two blocks either side. There we go. Something like this. And then, yeah, we're going to have ourselves like a nice sort of nethery... What the... Oh. Ghost block! Ugh, I'm so sad that they're back in the game, but you know what? You can't have everything in the world, can you? Alright, so do a little bit of that. A little bit more diggy diggy outy outy. And yeah, we should be able to get ourselves a nice nethery themed room going on down here. I think that'll look pretty cool, right? So maybe we go a couple blocks out this way as well. Ah, I'm assuming that goes out to the surface. So, actually, it might be an idea to uh, begin the portal building now. Uh, so, maybe we put three down here. We have it maybe... I'm thinking a three by four. I think that'd be pretty nice, you know. A pretty pretty big-sized portal, you know, all things considered. I think it's pretty cool. Oh, I should have brought the Crying Obsidian down with me. That would have been a really cool idea. Uh-huh. All right, well, maybe what we could do in the corners here... I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and uh, refill that back in. Okay, because in the corners, I was thinking of putting down some of these here quartz bricks, right? I think that'd be a cool idea. And then uh, maybe we could have uh, them in these other corners as well, right? Could be a nice idea. And then maybe we could have some nice decorations in the wall here. Maybe some blackstone, maybe some creeper pixel art. I mean, we are a creeper at the end of the day, guys. We've got we've to gotta stay faithful to who we are, you know what I'm saying? Maybe we used chiseled. Hmm. Ah, oh, then again, this is four blocks wide. Ah, it would have been easier if it was uh, working with odd numbers. Uh, fire, can you let me go to sleep, please? There we go. Stupid fire. <laughs> stupid, stupid. All right, all right, all right. What are you guys thinking so far, then? Look at this. We've got, like, creeper pixel art in all of the walls here. Even behind the portal here, there's a little creeper pixel art. Huh? It's looking pretty cool. All right, so up the floor here, I was thinking of pretty simply just putting some uh, lava underneath some glass or something. I think that'd be a nice way to do it. Maybe you have like a, a border of the uh, quartz bricks here. Uh, so this would be the layer of glass, of course. Uh, and then the lava goes on the layer below. So this layer down here. Uh, I might go ahead and put more quartz bricks down, actually. Uh, just for the edging of the lava. I don't want any regular stone to be present, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm not gonna do this by half measures, okay? We're gonna do this thing properly. I'm a builder. I'm a proud builder. I spend time on my things. No cutting corners, nothing like that. No, no, no. Wait, there's a gap there. No, no, no. Proper builder fills them in. There we go. <laughs> oh, fantastic. All right, and then maybe we just put some blackstone down here. I mean, we're not really going to see it, are we? Because there's going to be lava on top of it, huh? Alrighty, guys. So, question. Can this lava flow all the way along? No, it can't. Oh, dang it. Well, that's kind of annoying. Well, I guess we're going to put one in each corner. And then that will all look pretty cool, right? A nice symmetrical lava flow, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, let's grab this lava bucket here. Get that place down. Yeah, I kind of like the fact that it's flowing as well. Like, I honestly don't mind that. I thought it would annoy me, but actually it adds a nice amount of animation to the build, which I think is uh, a nice little touch. So let's go and put the uh, black glass down here. Looking very, very nice. Looking very ominous, is it not? And I'm thinking of also adding in uh, some lava flow sort of beside the uh, creeper faces. So actually, what we might do is dig that out. That'll be a lava source there. That'll pour down. Okay, we'll do the same up here. And it'll just flow all the way down here. All right, and then this back section here, I think it'll be a good idea if we put, like, some sort of, uh, like, water flow. Like, even just a tiny, tiny, tiny little water pool, just in case we are burning when we come down here and we need to, you know, cool ourselves off. Uh, maybe what I do is just something like this. Just, just, just something little. Something little. Like that. There we go. Even just that will do the job nicely. Da -da 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 -da. Oh no! I'm on fire! Oh no! There's two. Oh, oh, never mind. <laughs> Kidding! 
All right, well, let's get these lava flows in and let's see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, I've added a little bit more depth to the uh, little creeper pixel art walls uh, simply by uh, making the actual face itself, uh, you know, raise out by a block, right? I think that looks really, really cool. Uh, so, yeah, let's get the rest of this lava in. And to be honest, I, I was kind of tempted to put some lanterns in here. Oh. Oh, okay, a little bit early for the old uh, celebratory fireworks. We're not quite done with this build yet. We've got the roof to do here. We've got to light the portal itself. Yeah, we've got plenty of things still to go, my friends. Oh, it looks so cool, though, man. All right, guys. Well, I've got nine spruce signs just in case things go a little bit awry. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Can I even... Oh, is that going to come down on here? No, I don't think it is. Oh, the only thing is I can't really see what I'm doing anymore. Oh, man, this sucks, bro. All right, well, at least I got rid of the freaking water flow. I guess that was a pretty smart play on my part. All right, here we go. So, I guess we've got to put these in first, and then we can put the signs back. So, sign. There we go. Huh. I don't even know if that's in the right place, but I guess we're just going to have to... Oh. Oh, it's raining. I was just going to say, I thought there was something burning, dude. Oh my gosh. Okay. Right, so we could put another sign up against that. There we go. That'll do that one. Could I... Is it even possible? Could I even put one in here? Question mark? Oh. I, I, I don't know if that placed in the right place. Oh, it did. Oh, cool. Okay. Python is a freaking genius, man. Holy moly. Who would have ever thought, huh? Who would have thought it? There we go. Get out of here. Oh, jeez. Uh, okay. Boop. Oh, let's not get burned to death. That would be very embarrassing. All right. And another one. And how the hell am I going to do this last one? Okay. Yeah. Jump place. Okay. That should now totally dissipate. Do, 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 do. Down we go, put ourselves out, and light the portal. Yeah, nice one. I really wish you could use Crying Obsidian in the portal frame structure, and it still be a valid portal. Like, I think that'd be absolutely fantastic, I really do. Right, as far as I know, I'm pretty sure that this is going to dump us out at the portal that already exists, right? Uh, so if I just pop through here, uh, yeah, this is the, ah, oh, it's the same one as normal. Uh-huh. So if we go back through here, I'm probably going to wind up back at base, aren't I? Indeed. Okay, well, uh, yeah, that's definitely something we're going to need to sort out. Okay, so the final thing I wanted to do is see if I could go ahead and lower the uh, diorite, uh, sort of, I don't know, the, the courtyard areas, I guess. And we're going to see if we can lower them and make a nice bridge out of the uh, central pathway thing. The only thing is, though, I'm starting to realise... Um... I might not be able to do that. I mean, all we can do is have a look, but I got a nasty feeling we're going to bump into the thing we literally just built. Uh, well, then again, we might not. We might not. You never know, guys. We, we might just get off scot-free, and that would be fantastic. Hey, that's kind of cool, actually, because, yeah, there's, like, lava underneath here already. So, oh, this could be so cool, man. If we do this right, this could look absolutely fantastic. All right, let's see uh, what we can do about all of this, huh? All right, guys. So we've dug down, I think, maybe about four blocks or so. And this is what we've got going on so far. So this is like one of the pits, I guess. Uh, and we're in the process of uh, digging out the other one at the minute. But let's get a feel uh, for this newly reformed bridge. Ooh, okay. Okay, I'm kind of liking it. So, here's what I'm thinking, guys. I can see myself putting, like, a little cage out the front here that's, like, I, don't, I, I would say suspended, but I wouldn't know what it would be suspended by. Like, I'm not really intending on putting any kind of roof above this courtyard area. Um, I don't know. I don't really know. Maybe we could have, like, a couple chains. Ah, oh, do you know what? It would be so awesome if the chains could go horizontal. Because then I could have, like, one chain coming off that wall, one chain coming off that wall. And then, yeah, we could have ourselves, like, a, a cage with some sort of nether mob inside of it. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll have just a whole bunch of lava at the bottom. Hmm. That was one of the ideas I had in mind. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, if they do decide to go ahead and add that functionality to chains to have them horizontal, that would be fantastic. Then 100% we'll go ahead and go with that idea. But uh, I guess for now, all we'll do is just uh, get these things nicely decorated and uh, up to scratch. And then I guess we'll figure out what we're going to do a little bit later. Oh, yeah. Uh 
And of course, guys, let's go ahead and maybe add just a little bit more depth to this whole build by adding these sort of out struts, I guess. Little pillars here and there. And I think we'll just about be done for now anyway. Uh, so yeah, we've got ourselves a pretty good thing going on here. So let's go ahead and uh, have a look at it from afar. Maybe we uh, check it out from the top. Oh, yeah, that's good. There's a good amount of depth going on there, my friends, which is fantastic. So let's go ahead and uh, do the whole, you know, cinematic thing. Do, 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 walking in. This is the front entrance. Ooh, there's awesome stuff. A whole bunch of blocks on the floor. Spooky. Believe it or not, there is actually lava down here as well, uh, coming out the bottom of the bridge here, which I thought was a pretty nice touch. Now, like I say, if they add the horizontal chains functionality, 100%, we're going to have ourselves some cages, uh, you know, and a whole bunch of lava down the bottom there, and the cages will have some form of nether mob in there, whether it be, I mean, it can't be a piglin, because they get uh, zombified, don't they, in the overworld, uh, but we could certainly have some Something like a wither skeleton in there, maybe just a zombie pig man, something like that. Or failing that, we could just have ourselves like a pillar coming out of the lava here and then just have a cage anyway. So, I don't know, man. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Should we have like a, a suspended cage of some description with nether mobs in there? <laughs> I think that'd be pretty freaking awesome. But uh, yeah, there we go, my friends. That'll do it for today's episode. We've got the three things that I wanted to get done. Uh, done. So, yeah looking fantastic. So today, we have RTZNYT. I don't know how the heck to pronounce that. Uh, what happened to Terraria? P.S. Love you lots. Keep up the grind, broski. Hey, buddy, thank you so much for the kind words. And uh, yeah, Terraria. Later on today, there is in fact an update video going out on the Python GB channel, which goes ahead and addresses that. Spoiler alert, Terraria will return on May 16th, 2020, when when 1.4 is set to release. Python GB is about to get a freaking content explosion, guys. And don't worry, we're not going to be leaving any of our other stuffs in the dust. I'm not going to leave you guys hanging for Python Plays Minecraft episodes. I'm not going to leave you guys hanging for ARC episodes. If you guys are of that uh, persuasion, you like yourself a little bit of ARC here and there on the GB channel. I'm not going to leave you guys hanging, okay? But yeah, rest assured, Terraria is coming back. Watch the update video, uh, which is to come later today on the GB channel for the full lowdown. But for now, my friends, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, as always, a like rating goes a long, long way. It truly does. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell as well if you don't want to miss out on future content. Let me know what you think of all of the uh, adjustments and builds that I've done in today's episode in the comments area below. But for now, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. 